And so in this video, we're going to continue the installation of Windows XP Professional inside of Parallels Desktop 4.0. In the last video, we started the creation of the virtual machine for Windows XP Professional. And we started the basic installation. And what's happened now is the virtual machine has restarted. And Windows XP is now going to install the actual operating system. And this is a typical installation of Windows XP if you've never seen one before. Now, if you're con if you've been watching my previous videos, including the ones for VirtualBox, and you're wondering why we didn't set up the hard disk, the memory, and so forth, well, that's because uh, Parallels Desktop created an ins an easiest installation for us which allows us to quickly install Windows XP or Windows Vista without having to customize all of that at the beginning. Um, however, we can change all of these features once the installation of Windows has completed. And I would recommend that you immediately do that after Parallels installs the Parallels tools. And once that happens, you want to shut down and customize your Windows virtual machine. And we're going to do that in the next video. Um, the customizing of the virtual machine. I say that because once you customize your virtual machine, your Windows virtual machine, to the way you want it, then it's necessary to activate Windows. Because if you activate Windows as soon as the Parallels tools are installed, and then change those settings like the processor and memory and storage. Windows might require you to reactivate. And to avoid multiple activations, you want to make sure you have everything the way you want it before you do the activation of Windows. So this is the uh, graphical installation now. It's installing the actual Windows operating system. The core or, or the basic installation has something to do with installing drivers and other components for the operating system. And so this is Parallels Tools. You, you see, uh, well this is Parallels Desktop I should say. You see it's quite easy to use. It's one of the most powerful virtualization programs and I prefer to use it and so we're going to let the installation complete and when we come back we're going to be restarted here and the Parallels should automatically go ahead and start the installation of the Parallel tools for Windows XP and we'll demonstrate that and once that's happened we'll end this video and we'll go ahead and start the next video in which we'll be talking about customizing virtual machines in Parallels Desktop 4.0 for Mac. And what we have here now is the installation of Windows XP Professional has completed and the graphical environment has restarted the uh, Windows XP virtual machine and uh, we now have a fresh new copy of Windows XP Professional and the virtual machine in Parallels Desktop is starting up. And we should automatically get logged in here. It's going to take some time since it's the, this is the first time that the Windows XP has started up. Now, I want to talk about speed while this is happening. Um, if you're installing a brand new copy of an operating system such as Windows or Linux, they will run quite fast. Um, I would say native speed, depending on how much memory or how many processors you give the virtual machine. In the earlier videos, my parallels uh, ran slow because I was using my uh, boot camp partition on my MacBook Pro. And what we have here now is the installation of the Parallels tools. And like I said, this automatically starts up 
and this is um, highly recommended that you let this happen and don't cancel this is very similar to the guest editions that we looked at in VirtualBox basically once this is going to install a bunch of drivers and other components that's going to allow your Windows XP to take full advantage of the resolution of your computer it's going to allow you to use coherence to file share to use the new Metally feature it's, it, it, it's just a really nice add-on and um, it really helps your virtual machine run much much more uh, nicer notice I'm clicking in this virtual machine and I'm moving my mouse around but I can't move it around my Mac I'm using the control options key which allows me to click out of the virtual box not virtual box virtual machine virtual box is still in my head but this feature is similar to that of using the right control key in virtual box but in parallels desktop 4.0 it's the control options key simultaneously and you can get in and out of the virtual uh, machine now once the parallels tools has been successfully installed this won't be necessary because you can freely use your mouse in your on your Mac and Windows and you won't have to use that uh, button those combination keys what we have down here under the virtual machine is uh, the images or icons of all of the hardware components such as the keyboard so we can go ahead and use the keyboard features we have the floppy we can configure the floppy the CD we can disable or disconnect or connect images the hard disk shows you information about the hard disk we have the network adapter the print now the, par the Parallels desktop will need you to restart the system after it has been successfully installed we have the sound here USB devices shared folders and this icon representing the Parallels tools are successfully installed so let this restart and in the next video we're going to be um, talking about customizing your virtual machine in Parallels Desktop 4.0 for Mac so this is going to restart here the Windows XP Professional and once this has been installed notice how I'm gonna go in full screen mode and we now the Windows XP has started up and we can go ahead and change the resolution to make it fit the way we want let's get back in to full screen here and we'll notice how just like in VirtualBox Parallels tools automatically goes ahead and adjusts your virtual machines resolution to the to match your systems resolution so that's it for this video in the next video we'll be looking at customizing virtual machines in Parallels desktop 4.0 for Mac